Welcome, everybody, to the PEG Gear Closet. We're going to give you a little tour today of all of the gear that really keeps PEG running, keeps our shoots looking great, keeps everything working smoothly. And that all starts on this shelf. All these blue bags are made in America by a little company called Portabrace. Uh, we love them because they keep our gear safe, and uh, that's why we have so many of them. These two bags house our two LED lighting kits. We use LED lights for pretty much everything nowadays because they put off really great light output. You can put batteries on them, and they really don't put off any heat, so you can use them as close as you want to somebody. Maybe not that close, because we're shooting something. This isn't the time. Sorry. It's okay. Once you have lights, you're gonna need cameras, and we've got a lot of those. Here are two of our favorites. This usually houses the FS7, our new camera. You're not gonna see that today because uh, we're shooting on it. This also is its little brother, the FS700. You're probably not gonna see that today because it takes a little while to set up. They're complex cameras and they don't set up quite as, or they do. And here it is. We've used our FS700 for a long time. It gives us great picture, great depth of field, high frame rate. That doesn't really do anything because you're not pressing any of the buttons. But it's modeled lovely. These cameras take a little while to set up though, and that doesn't always work. You know, sometimes you need a camera that sets up really, really quick and uh, can get you a shot of the moment's notice, can use in a multi-camera environment or something you might use in sports. We have four of those kind of cameras. These are JVC HD broadcast cameras, call them an ENG style. They're great for news gathering. Uh, they're also great for interviews if you really need to quick. Hey, what do you think about closets? I think we're not doing an interview in a closet right now because we're doing a video about the closet. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yes, it is. Those cameras have to be supported somehow, as do the lights. To do so, we have our tripods here, as well as some light stands and some sandbags in the back. Together, these help us keep our cameras nice and smooth or locked down, whatever we really want. Sometimes you want to fly a camera, you know, move it really wherever you want. Um, one of our newest little toys is this DJI Ronin down here. The DJI Ronin's great because once you set it up, you can kind of go wherever with it. Uh, it's great for keeping nice, stable shots for a long, long time. You can use it in sports. You can really use it on a variety of shoots, including this one, which was not really the best time to have it out. That is the Ronin, though. Very cool. Another video about that, too, if you want to check that out. Sometimes you need a repeatable move, though. Uh, for that, we use our Kessler gear. Up here, we have a uh, Kessler heavy sticks and heavy tripod. And in the back, we have a Kessler, really, it's kind of like a miniature jib. It sets up really big. It collapses down really small so we can take it on the road. This is actually a camera slider. This gives you repeatable camera moves that you can go over and over and over again. It takes a little while to set up, so you're probably not going to see that today. Camera moves actually means you put a camera on it and not that. He likes it, though. At least he does. This is Homer, our, uh, our local rubber ducks mascot. He's apparently taking a ride on the slider, which is really not what it's meant for, honestly. To make this run, you have to have charged batteries. And to do so, we have a long charging shelf that we use to charge all of our equipment. Down here, you have everything from uh, what you might use on a recording deck to you know, a DSLR camera to a big camera battery. Uh, we can charge it all here. And when we need to recharge, we also have some healthy snacks and some Red Bull up there. This pretty much stores whatever we need to keep going late at night. And speaking of storage, this is the PEG server closet. It's a closet within a closet. This is about 100 terabytes of redundant storage. What that really means is that, well, we can hold a lot of footage really safe. Speaking of storage, here we have Pegasus, the company mascot, rocking the First Night Akron pin. Way to represent. I'm just going to keep him out here for a while because he's probably been in there for a while. Here is where we have our little work table. We have a lot of raw cable here. We have power cables, ropes, and we have things like personal protective equipment, which strangely enough, we do not have a horse version for, which seems like a mistake. Over here, we have a lot of white bins. This holds all the little knickknacks that keeps the company running smoothly. Everything from intercom boxes to miscellaneous to the fabled PEG gear. We have everything in here from shirts, hoodies, tote bags, hats. All of them on one person. Hello. Getting a lot of work done. Great. 
when we're not putting gear on, we are pretty much getting whatever we need from back here. Miscellaneous, intercom, cases and bags. Sometimes you just need an extra keyboard. All of that is held in the gear closet. We keep this all super organized so we can get whatever we want whenever we need it. Um, really, you can find whatever your heart desires back here. Hey, Jeff, real quick. Do you have like 52 PEG pens? I really need some. I can't really imagine why you need 52 pens, but here's all, pretty much all we have. Oh, thank you. Don't know what you need that many pens for. Well, this has just been a little look at the PEG gear closet. Thank you for joining us, and uh, maybe in the future we'll go on an even longer tour and see where the ladder goes. Until then, bye. Bye, guys.